Hi guys, this is Manny Chopra here at the Sawyer's Crescent site in Maidenhead and I'm with Sunny Sedu from Angle Developments who is the main contractor for this project. Hi Sunny. Hi Manny, how are you? Yeah, I thought you know we're the, towards the tail end of the project and it'll be good to sort of get you there sure. and you know so you can uh, tell people a little bit about what the project is. So we are in one of the four bedroom houses and we're going to just quickly take you through the different rooms and show you a little bit of the progress that's happened in the last sort of couple of weeks and hopefully Sunny can then add to that yeah. and you know correct me if I'm wrong. So this is where we are in the hallway area and here the tiling is done but you can't see it because obviously we've got it covered because the landscaping is still uh, left to do so there's a lot of mud coming in from the outside so we'll show you that once uh, everything is ready and right at the very end uh, but here these are the connections for the rats for the radiators yeah so we're gonna go with the um uh, standard p plus slim white radiators here on oh, the white okay yeah. so like they're the tall ones yes. Yeah. But the slim, the slim, slim version. Ones, yeah. So that's just the one, is it? Why is there two of these then? No, that's one, so it's connection on both sides. Ah, right, okay. So that's connection for one of those rounds. Yeah. But how big, how wide is the range? 800 wide. Okay, so it's quite wide. Yes. Then. Right, okay, so that's this for the, to keep the hallway nice and warm. Uh, if you go in here, you can have a look at the cloakroom downstairs, and I think it's only going to stay half tiled. Half tiled, yep, and then um, painted. Um, so the tiling is done, the connections are done. Um, and we're going to install the uh, WC and the basement today. Oh, so it's just waiting yes. on the uh, materials on the Yeah. Okay. Uh, so, yeah, I mean, uh, as I said, it's half tiled. I think with the rest of the bathrooms, we've gone for the they floor can't. to ceiling, isn't it? Yeah, because obviously we need to try and maximize the space downstairs because um, they're just a WC. So we've gone with slightly different um, spec. kind of spec to upstairs. But, um, and plus it saves a lot of space this way as well. Right, yeah, okay. So hope you've really had a good view of that. Here, you can have a look and see, we've got the um, sort of uh, water tank room basically, and a bit of storage, I guess. Uh, Ollie, you can um, go through there and have a quick show through. This is just basically storage then, presumably, or? So yeah, so this will be storage. Um, you know, we'll, we'll, we'll cap it off uh, and, and, and order that kind of off in a box. But this is where your um, water tank and is going to be as well. So you can see that it's, that's in the corner. Um, but, you know, once the door's here, this will just be a little bit of storage for, you know, I don't know. I mean, it, you know, yeah. dustpan, rug, and all yeah, that sort of mop and all that sort of stuff. But yeah, you know, all houses need storage, right? Yeah. So the more you can provide, that's going to be a great selling point as well. Let's go upstairs now and then we can show you what the progress is being upstairs. So from this point on, this will be carpet, right? Yeah, so this will all be carpet going all the way upstairs. The bathroom, uh, I think we showed it to you last time. The bathrooms, again, uh, the bathtubs are connected and the tiles are done. They're still connected to the sanctuary there. So yeah, because we um, the gas meters were installed yesterday, we can now test the hot water, cold water, any leaks, anything like that. Right. And then start to close everything and panel everything off. So is, is that what was waiting yes, for? Yes, that's what we're waiting for. Testing the water connection, yeah. the hot and cold. Okay, that's interesting. Here you can see the second fix plumbing, uh, sorry, carpentry is being done. So you've got the architraves, the skirting boards are done. Yeah. Um, so pretty much, I'd say upstairs, is it uh, little paint? I mean, miss coat will go in next Yeah, week? so the plan for this week and up until Christmas, so next week and a couple of days a week after is, upstairs are pretty much done. Once the mist coat goes on, um, and we'll start the painting by next week, and then we'll do the second fix, electrics, you know, your switches, etc. Um, and then in the new year, once everything is done, um, on the 4th and 5th of January, we'll just start the carpet. So everywhere upstairs, the bedrooms, the landing and the staircase, will all be carpeted. Right, okay, so that's right at the end, isn't that's it? That's right at the end, yeah. So lots of stuff, so basically just cosmetic stuff going in, uh, pretty much this week, next week, some of the plumbing stuff is also going in. Uh, but yeah, I mean, you can have a bit of a look at the rooms. These are the small rooms, so I think this is room three. Uh, which I think we've shown before, but this is like probably the third smallest, second smallest room in the house. Yes. Uh, um, so still a double. Still a double, yes. So you've got bed. the bed hopefully going there, you've got the switches on either side of the beds. That's right, yeah. And then there's a two-way switch there as well, so you know, um, there and there. Um, and we've future-proofed it for, you know, the next five years, six or whatever, because the loft space um, is already ready to do a loft conversion apart from the dorm room. We've upgraded all the doors to fireproof doors oh. throughout the whole house. 
Yes. Um, so that's a great feature yeah. as well. This is right. very useful because oh yeah, we have the second story. Uh, the third story. Third story. Yeah. Okay. Actually, I don't know if you can see, but uh, the roof is it's quite high up. It's about over just over under three meters. Yes. Okay. So. The head height there is ready for loft conversion. The only thing that obviously the tenants would need to do or work wise a house is to just um, go up. Rid of and, and that's under it. permitted development anyway. That's so, right. you know, if somebody needs uh, the growing family, yep. you create a fifth bedroom, you know, office, you know, big massive ensuite room or whatever. Uh, but yeah, so ensuite room is this one here. So, this is the master bedroom And here you can see actually, you can see some of the flooring as well in the bathroom. Um, as well, so yeah, it gives you lovely. I think we've gone with the sort of grey theme throughout pretty much, isn't it? And yeah. all the sort of uh, sanitary wear bathroom. No, sanitary as well, the bathroom. Yeah, think. so just white and grey theme throughout the house. Um, that seems like a popular colour. Yeah, it? and it's a nice shade of grey that you know contrasts the aluminium windows with as those, well. Yeah. I think the whole look and feel with the whole, you know, light and uh, two-tone grey. Yeah. The, the doors are being painted white, white, white gloss. Yeah. No, so it'll be satin. Satin you want. So okay. the staircase and all the doors and all the skirting and the architecture will be satin. Satin white, yeah. 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 Brilliant. So uh, let's quickly show you downstairs and then I think we're pretty much done for now. So. Uh, The living room, effectively, right? The formal living room, and because this was a four-bedroom house, the estate agent, I think, uh, effectively said to us, "Divide this up." So originally, it was an open plan, a kitchen, diner, and uh, living room space. But I think they've said four four-bedroom houses need a separate sort of living room area. So this is hence we've done this uh, extra instruction that we had to give in for this uh, dividing uh, wall and the. Uh, yeah, and it's you know with this whole working from home stuff this year, it you know what it does is essentially it separates the two rooms so this could be you know your office workspace or yeah. living space and then your dining slash kitchen Family as well. Space yeah. as well and if you think about it the working from home has been announced again yeah. from next week isn't it yeah. so it's an ongoing thing right. you know so uh, let's quickly show you the kitchen and the dining room and just going with the theme in yeah. the dining room and in the living room we're going with the slimline tall grey radiators oh. uh, in the living because it doesn't go with the windows and the kitchen oh. itself. So the hallway is white, yeah. but the grey... Uh, it's in the living and the kitchen. Right. Okay. So you can have a little space in the, in the kitchen area. It's a really lovely big sized uh, kitchen diner. Um, we're going to get the two-tone sort of brushed, sandy brushed look, isn't it, on the, on the sort of cupboards and stuff. and. Uh, the appliances, I think we've gone for AEG pretty much, and the new scene, yeah. I think. Um, so AEG on the oven, and the hob, and then the fridge freezers, you can have a look mm. at those as well. Those are the Zanussi brand um, here, and I think the same for the dishwasher here. Right. So obviously we're going to be providing all the appliances, apart from the washing machine, I think, which is really in the connection. Yeah. It's, that's the utility room there. Right. Yeah. So have a quick look at the utility room. That's still obviously not ready yet. Are there going to be more cupboards going in as well? Yeah, so we've just covered, we've just boxed off the Worcester boiler. Yeah. So the door will go in front of it. Yeah. Um, and then that's pretty much done. We're just going to put a worktop there. Yeah. Put the doors in. And shelves and stuff. Yeah, and that's it. Okay, brilliant. Uh, so I think inside is taking shape. Um, I think the next two weeks is going to be quite crucial, I think, to try and finish this off. Yeah, so the next two weeks, uh, so Prior to Christmas, we'll have everything internally in terms of the paint, um, the last minute fixtures and fittings done. Um, everything will be tested. Flooring wise. Flooring, because of the carpet, will come in on the 5th and 6th of January. Um, we'll do the flooring in the new year, and that way then we can just move on to landscaping. So the second week of January slash first week of January, everything internally will be complete. We then move on to the landscape and the outside. Uh, just to bear in mind, there's some issues with some drainage, which uh, we can't talk about right now, but I think that's delaying the landscaping a little bit, which is a bit of a shame, but uh, 
Hopefully we'll get that resolved in the next couple of weeks yeah. and we can crack on with that in the new year. But Sammy, it's been great having you Thank here you today much. and I uh, hope you've enjoyed that and found that useful. Any questions, um, feel free to put the comments on the YouTube video, but also do like and subscribe to us. We put these videos out every week um, and we hope to give you some useful information on how our sites are progressing. So hope you found that useful and speak to you soon. Thank you guys. Thank <music> you.